Honorable Namdas, they're not only asking that they get their salaries and uh, old salaries and wages paid, they're also accusing the leadership of the structure of the National Assembly, that is the clerk, uh, led by uh, Mr. Sonia Molori, who they are alleging, uh, alleged, uh, accusing of high-handedness and corruption. Are you looking into that uh, allegation also? Uh, Mr. Sheon, what uh, the workers of the National Assembly are alleging, and I can tell you the, it happens on other ministries and uh, parastatals. A lot of stuff, when time people go on strike, in certain people's individual names are being penciled down for being responsible for their woes and what have you. But I can tell you that uh, if they have issues and that are serious, the leadership of the National Assembly will be up and doing. And, and that was why I keep saying that if, for instance, the Minister of Finance, who is in the executive, not in the legislature, says, look, we have released your money. And uh, you go, go and meet the person that uh, is responsible for paying you. I have no hand in that. Then you can see clearly that the, the book has shifted from uh, the executive now back to, to the legislature. And we'll find out who is responsible for that. But before that happens, I think they should give us benefit of the doubt. And uh, uh, management matters are something that you have to bring facts and figures. Uh, mere allegations cannot solve the matter. And uh, I can tell you that uh, we will be talking to them, and we are still talking to them. And I appeal to the workers that uh, they should see reason and then at least open the gates tomorrow so that at least we will continue our job. And I must add here, even though I am still appealing, Sheon, uh, the Legislative Houses Privileges Act uh, says that it is even punished, it's, it's a crime to even stop legislators from doing their job. Section 16 of that, uh, that act states clearly that you cannot prevent legislators from doing our right. job because I've been elected to work for Nigeria. So it is not fair to stop us. Okay. But because we also reason that we cannot work in isolation, we must work with these workers and we, must, we have to care for their welfare. As it stands right now, the president will go to the National Assembly some of the National Assembly members are saying they're going to stage a workout. They are saying that the performance of the 2018 budget is below par. Are they right in that sense? Yeah, thank you, Sheung. Uh, I think it's a critical issue that Nigerians begin to concentrate and lay emphasis on the performance of our budget. It is not enough to reel out uh, very good uh, figures and statistics on in budget proposals each year in the proposition B. The emphasis should be the performance, the actual performance of the, this uh, 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 bill or act when signed. How, have they, how, how is their performance in each of the fiscal years? So if you look at how the 2018 budget has failed, even the executive have accepted that they have not done you know, uh, uh, um, impressively. If you look at the statistics, for example, the current showdown in the uh, by the uh, person, that's the Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria, is an indication that 2018 budget has failed to meet their needs because their, their, their salaries and areas are actually provided in 2018 budget. But here we are, uh, the non-payment of this uh, provision has captured, of these salaries has captured in 2018 budgets, is threatening the uh, 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 2019 budget proposal. So for me, it's something we need to shift emphasis from politics to core issues to how uh, the performance of our, uh, um, of our fiscal documents, our laws, because when signed, they're actually laws which should be obeyed and implemented to the later. So uh, 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 the, 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 the person, Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria, going on strike because of the inability of those concerned, the executive, to pay them their salaries and alias are contained in 2018 budget is instructive. We so, need to do more uh, to improve uh, the, the, the performance the, of our budget. Okay, so the, if you can tell us, give us details of what you know about the performance. Because in 2017, uh, the executive did say that there was an 86% performance of the 2017 uh, budget. And uh, the president presented $8.61 to the lawmakers in 2017. The figure has increased by $508 billion. That's 6% to 9.2 one two trillion what can you give us in terms of details of uh, so far in 2018 the percentage of performance and the releases that we have seen so far yeah i i do not have the actual facts on the performance of the docker but i can confirm to you from the minister of uh, uh, um, power housing and uh, 
power housing and uh, works, that uh, so much has been done in terms of uh, releasing for uh, capital expenditure. The government is doing so well in terms of that. In terms of also the, um, the social investment program of the government, funds has been released and the beneficiaries always uh, you know, indicate that they receive this. But in terms of general performance, when we look at it, issues of uh, workers going on strike as a result of non-payment or government inability to meet up with the provisions of the budget, it's, it's, a, it's enough indication. And as you can see, if, it's, if not properly managed, it can cause national embar embarrassment. The President, uh, His Excellency uh, Muhammad Buhari has written to the National Assembly that he will, he will be uh, in the National Assembly on Wednesday to lay the budget for, for 2019 appropriation year. And here you have the staff of the National Assembly having legitimate issues. There are genuine concerns that, look, we have to be paid because the reward for labor is uh, salary and wages. Those who work should be paid. The issue of payment of salary is, is sacrosanct. It, if you work, you should be able to be paid at the end of the month. So if the 2018 budget is not able to cater for the payment of workers, those who have discharged their constitutional responsibilities, who has met up with the requirements of their law, it is a show. It is an indicator that uh, uh, the implementation, uh, I mean, is not good. This right. is sad. Uh, we have uh, not gone into the capital expenditure, how much has released sector by sector, the sectoral analysis of how much each of the sect, uh, ministries received for um, the capital components. We also look at education, for example. We also have the issues of us. All right. L let's talk to Honorable Namdas again, because some of his colleagues are saying that they will stage a walkout. Uh, is that, that going to be a threat if this uh, budget presentation hold on Wednesday, when your colleagues are saying they're going to work out 2018 budget is not, uh, 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 it's poorly uh, uh, executed. That is some of their grounds on, uh, that's the reason uh, the stands are given towards this uh, 2019 budget presentation. I thank you, Mr. Sherwin. Yeah, it's true that uh, even when we went on oversight functions, uh, it was clear that uh, the capital releases were not so much good, uh, some 10 percent, and uh, this is really not a very good figure. We will employ executive to do more in this area because uh, when the legislature approves budgets and passes it, it is the executive who, after signing, implements uh, the budget. It's no longer the issue of uh, the lawmakers. I think so that has to come from the executive. Uh, they have to do more in this area because by the time you release more of capital, uh, make capital releases, then the infrastructure will come up and then a lot of employment will be generated and what have you. On the issue of boycott, uh, I think uh, this should not be taken. Uh, we will not uh, like to take that so serious, uh, Mr. Uh, Sherwin, because we are on a national assignment. We've been elected to do a national duty. I am of the APC and uh, on the ruling party. Uh, that does not mean budget is not meant for APC members, neither is it meant for PDP members. Uh, I, I can quite agree that if you are in opposition, you are always, it's not wrong for you to keep the government on toes by checking it, by trying to bring some issues. But uh, we cannot afford to stop the uh, uh, stop right. president from Honorable Namdas, there is a critical. Uh, if sorry, if I may butt in, if I may butt in here, Honorable Namdas, there is a very critical aspect onto these when the executive is being blamed for non-performance of the budget. Take a look at, uh, listen to what the president said after before he signed the 2018 budget, and he said, "Quote: I'm concerned about some of the changes that the National Assembly has made to the budget proposal that I presented." He said, many of the projects cut are critical and may be difficult, if not impossible, to implement. So, he has said it from the onset. Would you now blame him uh, for the low performance of the budget? He has said it that you have tampered with the budget of 2018. No, I think... Uh Share what I've just stated now, that uh, all I, I said that the performance of capital budget was 10% from what, what I, I went for an oversight visit, uh, which was not a good one at all. I'm not saying that I've commended it on that. That's why I said we are appealing to the executive to do more in this area. This is why no legislator will be happy to see that there is low performance on the on budget because when you approve budget, you expect it to work. That is a, is a definite statement. But what I'm saying is that uh, it is not 
for, for a group to tell us that we should walk out, stage a walkout, I think that is, we are becoming too political. I think we should be de emphasize the political aspect of it. We should look at the budget critically and see where there are no performance. We, we, we tell government, as we've been saying, uh, I have All appeared right. on this program separately and I said that, look, we need to improve. Even last year, in some emphasis, it was... 35 or 50 uh, percent performance. So we expect it to be increasing, okay. not to right, be going down. We're, we're, we're out of so time. I think that I, is I, my... I, and we need to go. Tell Nigerians, just by a nod or a, 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 a yes or a no, do you think that presentation will happen on Wednesday? I think uh, we will overcome the issue, but especially grace of God, it will happen. <laughs> That's uh, an optimism. Well, I must sincerely thank you, Honorable Abdurazak Namdas, for coming on the program to clear yeah, about some of these issues. Uh, Mr. Adi Agu, thank you so much for the thoughts uh, on the performance of the budget and the 2019 budget presentation. Many thanks, gentlemen, for coming on the show tonight. Well, that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Shion Akimale. Bye-bye. <laughs>